Alex's relationship with the church wasn't always this harmonious. A minister who now leads the teaching, Alex was once a victim of it. Coming out as trans meant being told to change, but not in the way Alex wanted to. Pastors tried to use conversion therapy as some sort of cure. This very quickly um, led into a process of prayer, um, particularly unwanted prayer very late at night in my bedroom, um, processes of attempted exorcism, um, and bits and pieces of what I'd now term as physical abuse. What kind of impact did that have on you? Really, really anxious to the point of feeling quite unwell. Um, so during the trip, I started being quite sick. And by the time I got home, um, doctors were testing me for tropical diseases and all sorts of things and eventually sent me to a breathing specialist and they found out that actually it was just really severe anxiety that I was experiencing. Receive the Holy Ghost. Last week, the government broke a promise to ban these practices, then U-turned, but only for gay people, excluding trans conversion therapy from any bill. Today, church leaders, including a former Archbishop of Canterbury, wrote to the Prime Minister telling him every church should be a safe place that affirms people in being who they are without fear of judgment. We see no justification for the ban on so-called conversion therapy excluding trans people. And tonight, over a hundred organisations have pulled out of the government's Safe to Be Me conference this June, which is supposed to set an example on LGBT rights to the rest of the world. Our feeling is that the government has got no credibility to be hosting an international LGBT rights conference at a time when it's walking away from some of the most vulnerable people. But the government and some of its MPs are concerned a ban could have unintended consequences. If we have a an approach which is based purely on affirmation and not for properly interrogating what might be the cause of gender distress, we could actually see people move on to pathways which lead to irreversible treatment. But while some are worried about unintended harm, many, like Alex, are concerned about that which is deliberate. Paul Brand, News at 10, Cambridge.